Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Global Church Academy, the channel that exists to inspire and equip those working with children and students around the world. Today, we're going to be talking about taking our classroom from a lecture-centered system to a child-centered system. And I believe that there are two important pieces that we can do to help achieve this. And I believe that they're pretty easy steps. The first step that we can do is we can provide a safe and loving environment for our students. And this is really important because if students or adults don't feel valued or important, then they're not going to be free to share and give their ideas. Um, one huge thing we can do is we can build rapport with our students. We can build a relationship. And it can be as simple as just asking questions as you start your class or after class. How was your weekend? Uh, what did you do over the summer? What are some hobbies and interests that you like? What do you like to do outside? They might seem very trivial, but for students, they can see that you are trying to connect with them. And they'll want to, this will allow them to give you more respect and want to share and interact with you throughout your lesson. So that's a very important piece to having a child-centered classroom. And another piece that we can do is we can allow students to share their ideas. And this is important. If we have a safe and loving environment, this will just come naturally. And some things that we can do to prepare for this is we can prep some discussion questions before we teach. So if your lesson is 20 or 30 minutes long, try to place two or three different discussion questions in between, kind of segment them so that students will have a break in between uh, your lesson. And this will allow them to talk with a partner, share with somebody else beside them about what they're learning. And another thing that I like to do is that I have a teach someone else. So before you start your class, students need to have an expectation, depending on their age level, um, that they go home or talk to somebody else and they then teach what you have taught them. Um, not only does this help share and spread the gospel, but it also allows them to solidify what they've learned in class that week. And for accountability, when they come back the next week, you can say, okay, who did you share, your, who did you share the lesson with today or this week? And they can say, oh, I shared with my parents or grandparents or a friend. And this can really help them get a better understanding of what they're learning in their Sunday school lessons each week. What are your tips and strategies for creating a child-centered classroom? We here at Global Church Academy would love to hear from you guys. So if you want to leave a comment below, we'd get back to you and you can also share with that comment your ideas with other Sunday school teachers from around the world. If you liked this video, you can go ahead and give a thumbs up at the bottom and you can subscribe to get new videos when they become available. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next video.